everybody, this is Rob Vegas. I'm checking in from Melbourne, Australia. And of course, we're back with another awesome video and we're gonna continue talking Transformers. And we've got another treat for you today. This time, back with Revenge of the Fallen. Revenge of the Fallen Ravage. And this is one fine piece of work. I'm not sure if you can see the details there, but this is a really well sculpted figure in Ravage mode. Of course, if I look up Ravage on the computer, of course Ravage was one of the original Transformers featured in the Generation 1 cartoon when it hit our screens back in the heady days of 1984. And of course the first time I saw that was on a TV show called the Early Bird Show, which was broadcast here in Australia, and it was actually filmed just up the road from where I grew up, in a place called Nunawading, which was opposite a place called Wobby's World, which is also no longer there. Now that's a rabbit hole you can go down on your own, I'll leave that to your discretion. Anyway, in terms of what we're talking today is, as I said, Ravage from Revenge of the Fallen, the... 2009 blockbuster movie where the Transformers showed the world that they are super action stars. Now we've got his card back, which is cool, so we can have a look at that and read through the file card, as it were, give it some frenzy. And also, I've got this little sort of card front bit, which came on the front of the bubble pack. And it's got some lovely artwork there that you can see. So check that out, pause it, or whatever you want to do if you want to look at that in more detail. Um, don't have the instructions, so we're going to have to freestyle it based on what's on the back of the card. He comes in his traditional Ravage mode, which he's in at the moment, and also in what's called Re-Entry mode. And yeah, that's a kind of gripe I have with a lot of the Transformers from the movie series is they have these awesome robot or battle or attack modes ergo and then they just like oh bugger what are we going to transform into let's just make him into some kind of weird space vehicle and yeah our friend Ravage falls into that category and also another gripe I have with the Transformers movies is they've got these cool characters like this and they're only in it for like five minutes and then they get wiped out completely and they're not in the movie anymore and you know yeah they're off for repairs or something like that so that that's another gripe but anyway let's move forward shall we file card it up first it says on the back of the card <clears throat> bulleting down through the atmosphere at better than 15 times the speed of sound, Ravage considers the data that he has already amassed on the small, soft creatures that inhabit this planet. That's us. They seem weak and fragile, yet they are the ones that destroyed Megatron. That is a fact he will keep in his mind as he penetrates their most sensitive installation against such an unpredictable enemy Stealth will be his watchword. So let's find out about Ravage. As you can see, he turns into his traditional panther mode, which is really well detailed. You can see it's like a robotic panther. Very cool articulated jaw to a point. Yeah, so he's... Something's going on there. That'll do. And, um, yeah, he's got the tail with the spike on the end corner like a harpoon look out that'll take your eye out anyway like I said um, this is awesome I, I really like this um, of course Ravage was famous for you know being one of Soundwave's minions and transforming into a tape and you know being ejected like with laser beak and rumble and frenzy and all that 
and at least not so much. Maybe he was sent down from space by Soundwave, who also turned into like a space thing in that movie. But let's see if we can't transform him into whatever his alternative mode is meant to be. This is one that could have benefited from him turning into a, like a tank or something like that, or like a weapon or yeah, one of those crazy Russian like those trucks with the rocket launchers on the back. That would have been a good fit. What's it called? Katusha? Katusha. Alright. Moving on. So, I don't have the instructions for this one, so I'm going to have to freestyle it here. So, I'm just doing, doing what they told you. And let's see what happens. Like, the arms... Like, I'm just going off the picture here, so... Some stuff's gonna move and things and... I don't know. There we go. Something's happening. And there's some stuff poking out and whatnot. And... Uh, so, we've got this far. This chest piece seems to open up like that. So that's a thing, I guess. Arms. Does it look like that in the picture? Not really. Do these things do something? No. This looks like you sort of pop his arms forward. From what I can see. Does that match up? No, that doesn't. Hang on. Ah. Uh. That sort of matches up, like with what's in the picture. This is why you should keep your instructions, folks. There are like these little wing bits that flop out a bit too. Oh, something's happening. Is that good? Yep. So there's, yeah, we've got this much so far. So we've got these wings that pop out. So this will get him into re-entry mode. Like, he's got these guns on the back. And then his legs. Let's see, do they do something? Probably not. Like, the the feet, if you can see that, the, the rear feet, they're kind of, they flip around like that, so you can mess around with them if you want. That's the kind of thing. Um, and it looks like they fold forward into this area where the belly was because there's like an extra sort of hinge there so that's something now, oh yeah we've got both of them to do that and they click into place so that's a winner now I'm expecting like after you mess around with the arms a bit fold oh, actually the the claws on the front legs are articulated so um, you can sort of smash them together right like that and that and then you're meant to by the looks of things you fold them around the front of his like panther head just sort of mash the claws together like that then you stick the tail like through the bottom of the body I guess and oh wow we've got re-entry mode and like I said like They've got that fantastic um, panther mode for Ravage and everything. I dig it. Love it. And then you've just got random sort of Cybertron thing mode. Like, they could have just not done that or just made it better 
and stuff. Not like, as I said, the engineering on these things is crazy. And the fact that it does anything and it is so much fun in the Panther mode um, is really cool, but yeah, like they, yeah, like I, I don't really dig that. And I think the most prudent course of action is I will try and get him back in his original form because that was kind of a letdown, much like. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Anyway, let's see what we can do. Snap those bits there. Bubble and squeak. Bit of a tweak. And... Yeah, this is much better. Like, the articulation is really awesome on this Panther mode. But, yeah, with that secondary mode, I, I really don't know what you're meant to do with it, it's like if that's his mode from entering Earth's atmosphere from space, I mean how many times can he do that and that's going to be fun, so your playability scale is kind of going to be a bit off there, it's like oh yeah, Ravages entered Earth's atmosphere and then it's like oh What's he going to do next time he transforms into that mode? He's going to, you know, wait at, like, Cape Canaveral in Florida or where, or whatnot, or, or he could go to Houston, and then he can wait for the next um, trip to space, or he can go to, like, one of the cosmonaut domes and, you know, get flown back up into space and then just re-enter the Earth. Kind of like that guy who does the... Like, I don't know if you've seen it, there's that guy who parachuted from, like, outside the Earth's atmosphere, maybe who'd go up in one of those balloons or something like that. Who knows? But anyway, that is Ravage from Revenge of the Fallen, a really cool, you know, animal-based bot, and we've, like in this mode lots of play value like lots of fun lots of articulation like claws galore that are um that have got points of articulation in them and yeah super features so like if you're after that kind of thing i would definitely recommend him um but as for the alternative mode um yeah uh, leaves a bit to be desired but yeah, a fine piece nevertheless. So yeah, uh, that's some kind of semblance of a win there. Um, yeah, something to think about. Anyway, let me know in the comments below if you had any of these Revenge of the Fallen figures and what you think of this one, Ravage. And yeah, Ravage was awesome in the cartoon and I'm going to say he's, uh, I reckon, a, probably a good 68% awesome in this, um, because the, you know, the panther mode is fantastic and looks very sinister. Great colours, like the black and the blue and the purple and everything, that's awesome. And as I said, the nasty claws, very good. Like, if you've ever had... A cat come and wake you up at four in the morning for some breakfast when it's like t two hours too early you know a claw in the face is pretty serious stuff um, but yeah other than the the beast mode mode um, yeah I'll leave that up to you yeah shout it out loud in the comments below and yeah like and subscribe and all that YouTube stuff you do and I really appreciate it and we will catch you in the next episode and we'll talk some more Transformers and have some fun along the way and I hope to see you then. Cheers everybody.